Welcome to Algebra and Geometry Explained. In this video, we are going to review 10 questions that you may encounter on the Algebra 1 end of course state exam. Let's work through each question step by step so you can feel confident going into the test. Question 1. We are given the formula A equals 9E over N, and we need to solve for E. First, multiply both sides by N. That gives us a n equals 9 e because the n cancels on the right. Now divide both sides by 9. a n divided by 9 equals 9 e divided by 9, which simplifies to e equals a n over 9. The correct answer is choice B. Question 2. They give us the equation 7x plus 4y equals 14. We need to graph this equation. First, let's find the intercepts. For the x-intercept, when y equals 0, the equation becomes 7x plus 4 times 0 equals 14. That simplifies to 7x equals 14. Divide both sides by 7, and we get x equals 2. So the x-intercept is the point 2 comma 0. For the y-intercept, when x equals 0, the equation becomes 7 times 0 plus 4y equals 14. That simplifies to 4y equals 14. Divide both sides by 4, and we get y equals 3.5. So the y-intercept is the point 0, 3.5. The correct answer is choice A. Question 3. We are graphing the inequality 4x plus 5y is greater than or equal to 10. First, we need to solve for y. Subtract 4x from both sides, and we get 5y equals negative 4x plus 10. Now divide both sides by 5, and we get y is greater than or equal to negative 4 fifths x plus 2. Notice the slope is negative, so we can eliminate answers a and b right away. That leaves c and d. When graphing inequalities, remember this rule. If it is just greater than or less than, we use a dashed line. If it is greater than or equal to or less than or equal to, we use a solid line. Here it is greater than or equal to, so we use a solid line. And since it is greater, we shade above the line. Therefore, the correct answer is C. Question 4. We are graphing the compound inequality 2x minus 1 is less than or equal to 3, or 1 half x plus 4 is greater than 7. Step 1. Solve the first inequality. 2x minus 1 is less than or equal to 3. Add 1 to both sides. That gives 2x is less than or equal to 4. Divide both sides by 2. That gives x is less than or equal to 2. Step 2. Solve the second inequality. 1 half x plus 4 is greater than 7. Subtract 4 from both sides. That gives 1 half x is greater than 3. Multiply both sides by 2. That gives x is greater than 6. On the number line, we place an open circle at 6, and the arrow goes to the right, and place a closed circle at 2, and the arrow goes to the left. The correct graph is A. Question 5. We are solving the inequality negative 3x plus 7 is greater than or equal to negative x minus 5. Step 1. Subtract 7 from both sides. That gives negative 3x is greater than or equal to negative x minus 12. Step 2. Add x to both sides. That gives negative 2x is greater than or equal to negative 12. Step 3. Divide both sides by negative 2. Remember, when dividing an inequality by a negative, 
the inequality sign flips. That gives x is less than or equal to 6. Final answer, the solution set is all real numbers x, such that x is less than or equal to 6. Therefore, the correct answer is choice A. Question 6, the expression is 2x cubed plus 4x plus 3x cubed plus 5x. Step 1, combine the x cubed terms. 2x cubed plus 3x cubed equals 5x cubed. Step 2, combine the x terms. 4x plus 5x equals 9x. Final result, 5x cubed plus 9x. Answer, choice C. Question 7, we are given a system of equations. The first equation says y equals 2x plus 2. The second equation says 2x plus 5y equals 19. Step 1. Substitute the expression for y from the first equation into the second. That gives 2x plus 5 times 2x plus 2 equals 19. Step 2. Multiply. That becomes 2x plus 10x plus 10 equals 19. Step 3. Combine like terms. 2x plus 10x equals 12x, so 12x plus 10 equals 19. Step 4. Subtract 10 from both sides. That gives 12x equals 9. Step 5. Divide both sides by 12. That gives x equals 3 fourths. Step 6. Replace the value of x in the first equation. y equals 2 times 3 fourths plus 2. That equals 6 fourths plus 2. Using the same denominator, write 2 as 8 fourths. So y equals 6 plus 8 over 4, which is 14 over 4. Simplify 14 over 4 to 7 over 2. 7 over 2 is the same as 3 and 1 half. Final solution, x equals 3 fourths and y equals 3 and 1 half. Answer, choice A. Question 8. The expression is the square root of 3. Step 1. Recall that a square root can be written as a power with exponent 1 half. Step 2. Rewrite the square root of 3 as 3 raised to the 1 half power. Final result, 3 to the 1 half. Answer, choice A. Question 9. The scatter plot shows the United States national debt from 2001 to 2016. The data points rise steadily and closely follow the line of best fit. This shows a strong positive correlation between years and debt. Answer, choice C. Strong positive correlation. Question 10. We are solving the equation 3x squared minus 21 equals 222. Step 1. Add 21 to both sides. That gives 3x squared equals 243. Step 2. Divide both sides by 3. That gives x squared equals 81. Step 3. Take the square root of both sides. That gives x equals positive 9 or negative 9. Final result x equals 9 or x equals negative 9. Want to ace the Algebra 1 EOC? Subscribe and don't miss part 2 of this video.